Hi guys, this is a video for the uh, triple moving average crossover beta test team. Uh, it's the 30th of June and what I've done here is put together um, some of the amendments that you guys have been asking for. So we have an opposite cross exit and a stop to break even, um, trailing stop and break even padding. So what I'm doing here is testing this on five currency pairs, all on M1 time frames, and I'm using really small um, moving average periods, so one, two, and a hundred, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, so one, two, and a hundred, and I'm doing this just basically to force the system to execute loads of trades. Um, and from my test so far, it appears that everything seems to be working fine. Um, regarding the opposite cross exit, what this is going to do is basically, if you get, uh, in the case of, say, this situation here, where we get a, a long order, because obviously the, the two short MAs are above the long period MA3, and you've got a long signal triggered here, and when those MAs crossed over, um, then the system would trade, uh, close that trade, providing the position is in profit. You do need to be careful of your commissions because I've just been checking on this FXCM platform and I can't track commissions. So uh, be aware of that. So don't do what I'm doing here in terms of this ultra short um, period MA. This is just for testing. Um, the break-even padding system seems to be working fine. Um, what that does is it allows you to, I'd recommend always using um, a minimum of say five pips. So if the position uh, sets a long position again and what would happen is the stop loss would move to break even once the position was five pips in profit. You can still start trailing after that. So I would recommend having a trailing stop slightly higher that worked pretty well earlier on. I think there was a uh, US dollar, dollar yen trade. So yes, it was. It was a dollar yen trade, long dollar yen trade, and it we're going to move to break even. Uh, I think, or was it? I'm not sure whether the stop loss was triggered or not uh, in, in terms of trailing stops. But anyway, the system, uh, both methods seem to be working at the moment from my tests I've done. Um, I know one or two of you saw uh, a situation where there was an opposing trade opened up. I'm not sure quite how that happens because um, unless it was when the EA was initially loaded onto the chart and um, there's a possibility could glitch, um, but uh, this, the code um, which checks for the presence of long and shorts is in here and it's this get orders function in here which is basically scanning for uh, longs and shorts and essentially it should, it should not allow the system to actually open an opposing order if hedging is disabled. So please let me know if you see that happen again. Um, I want to know about that and try and code around that. So, um, so there we go. What I'll do is I'll package this up and get this over to you, and you can test this out. And yeah, don't don't try and run it on ultra short moving averages like I am doing here because this is just for test purposes. You know, you've got to give it give yourself room to swing the bat, so to speak. Um, there's some error code stuff in the experts tab which um, you might want to look at so if you get opposite exit closes it will tell you and also tell you when stops are being modified as well so try and get an idea of what is going on uh, this can be trimmed down in the final release version because you may not want to see all this stuff um, but anyway there you go so basically once the game to recap um, opposite cross exit, stop to break even, trailing stops, um, and the break even padding. So if you turn the stop to break even off, 
break even the padding will disappear but I'd always recommend using uh, five pips or so as a padding um, because if you don't what will happen is as soon as position if you set your stop uh, break even padding at zero as soon as position basically um, reaches uh, a break even point it'll just close it out and there's no point in running trades like that um, there's no point whatsoever so give yourself give it room to breathe uh, and then start executing a trailing stop you know a few pips higher than the break even padding point um, I guess you could start trailing at the, at the break even padding point if you wanted to but if you do that I'd give it again room to breathe so uh, to be honest they're kind of one and the same thing I guess the break even padding um, will move the stop loss to um, a break the break even point plus the padding level and obviously trading stop is going to keep you in the market if if, if the action keeps going your way so um, the kind of there is there's a similarity but obviously the trading stop then kicks into play once price action continues to move so break even padding is, is and stop to break even is really just is stopping you getting into trouble uh, in a situation where the market goes against you so um, Oh yeah, one other thing, opposite cross exits are based on, at the moment, simple moving averages on physical printed crosses. So it won't take you out of the market when you get temporal crosses. So that bear that in mind. Um, and what the system does is it uses your MA periods and ports them over from the indicator uh, to the expert advisor by using the... Um, global variable table here, so MA1, MA2, MA3, specific to the chart. ID, uh, so there you go. So let me get to know how that goes, guys. Um, the beta program, uh, I need to extend it. Uh, I think at the moment you guys run for a month, and um, I'll extend all those time codes in the database um, probably for another couple of weeks. If you could let me know how you get on with this modified uh, order handling functionality, that would be cool. Um, one thing to bear in mind, if this gets, uh, obviously this, you can take this to um, multiple levels in terms of uh, scaling out of trades, um, you know, partial closes, all this kind of stuff. But the problem is with that, the more esoteric the order handling becomes, the more complex the EA gets. So, I'm trying to keep it fairly generic in terms of um, what it can do. I think these new functions will give you guys what you've been asking for on the whole, um, but it's going to be hard to cater for very um, specific uh, trading um, plans. Some of you guys have got very specific ideas about um, how you want to scale out and all that sort of stuff. It starts to get pretty complicated um, and I want to try and get this released um, as soon as I can, really. So, um, that I hope you understand where I'm coming from with that. Uh, it, you know, there's a, there's a point where, uh, yeah, you can kind of like, there's a point of diminishing returns with this stuff. So, um, anyway, I look forward to hearing your comments and I uh, hope you enjoy the new changes. Let me know if there's any, any howling errors um, from what I've seen so far. It looks okay. Um, but yeah, once again, don't run on silly time, silly MAs like this. You know, give give yourself um, higher time frames, sensible moving averages, um, and um, and good luck. Thanks for watching.